What is the most valuable thing that you can give away? It's your time and it's your heart. I discovered that I had some extra time I didn't have any plans for. And of course, I have a heart. It was mid-January 2012. I was sitting in my office and I was working on my budget when I suddenly discovered that there was a leap year. We had the 29th of February. An extra day. And if I have an extra day that I don't have any plans for, I can give it away. So, I gathered my group of very great people, we sat down and we discussed who should we give this day to. And after doing some research, we landed on this organization called Barna Station, the children's station. This is an organization who provides help for, for families with small children who struggles in the daily life. So what do you do? to seek information. Yes, you Google. So I Googled Barna Station, and I found that the manager of this place, her name was Bente. So I called Bente, and the, and the phone call was something like this. I called, and I said, hi, my name is Marianne. I recently discovered that I have an extra day. It's the 29th of February, and I want to give it to you. And she responded something like this. Uh, that sounds great, but I don't understand what you mean. And I said, I don't know if I understand what I mean either. Maybe we should sit down and talk. So I went over to Bente, she invited me for coffee, and we sat down. And I met her, and I met two of her colleagues. And I told her this. We are 10 people. 10 people with skills, with experience, and with competence. But most of all, we are 10 people with hearts, and we want to give it away to you. The gratefulness I felt in that room that day was so great, was so powerful, that I almost flew back to the office. When I came back to the office, we sat down, and I said, I feel so enthusiastic about this. This is not only for us. We need to share this with more people. And so we did. On the 29th of February that year, we worked, the 10 of us worked at the children's station. We were making lunch. We were helping them with creating a marketing campaign on how to get more volunteers. We were fixing broken stuff and we were playing with the children. And we all got perspective that day. Over 70 companies gave away the day, that day. The next day, this woman called me from one of the companies, from the HR section, and she said, Marianne, this was such a great experience. When is it next year? And I was like thinking, next year, not a leap year, not an extra day, but I could hear myself saying, next year, not a leap year, it's the 28th of February. And when I hung up, I thought, did I just say I'm going to do this every year for the rest of my life? So let me fast forward. 2015, today, standing here before you, we have arranged to give away the day four times. For each time, more professional, more structured, and we touched thousands of hearts. And I'm proud to say that a small initiative that started in this town, in Trondheim, has become a nationwide project. I'm also proud to say that we hired a manager who's going to lift this project up to the next level. We've become the connector. We become the project that connects the companies who have time and skills with the organization who needs time and skills 
with a matchmaker who put these two together. Through this time, I've met a lot of people, I've heard so many stories, and I've been so touched. And I would like to tell you one story to try to touch your hearts today. It's about Anders. He is a manager in an IT company. In 2012, he decided to give away his day. He was going to work at the local church in the soup kitchen. He was going to make lunch for the homeless and for those who are less fortunate than we are. He came, he made lunch, and he made a lot of connections. Especially one connection, especially one man that he connected with more than the others. They had a common ground. They were both fathers. They had children. They got a good connection. When his shift was over, he was stepping out of the church, his heart filled with perspective, and his head as well. He was walking down the street when he hears his name. Someone's shouting his name. And he turns around, and you see that it's the man that he connected with coming towards him. And as he's approaching him, this man is putting his hand down his pocket, taking out a 50 kroner bill, handing it over to Anders, saying, Anders, can you please buy something nice to your children for this? And this, this is what may happen if you give away some of your time and your heart. These post-its represent some of the connections that we did this year. Companies who gave away time for organizations. Through this journey, I met so many people and heard so many stories. And what it's taught me is that I've proven my values. I know what I stand for. I also am so excited to say that I feel like being a part of something that's bigger than myself. The goal is for Give Away the Day to be a global project. But to do that, we need all of you to give away your days. Because you know, we're all connected. And you also know that if you prioritize, you will find some time. And I know that you all have hearts. Thank you. Thank you.